For our context application, the next step is to be able to delete a contact within the contact list, right? So let's go to the context page and we can see that we have this list view. And then within the list view, we have this item template, which is basically a text cell. So we can kind of add a button there by using view cell instead of text cell, because within the view cell, you can place a whatever view you want, even a stack layout, right? We can use a horizontal stack layout and put a button there. But list view has a context action. And within context actions, you can put one or more menu items. So instead of using buttons, I think we should learn about using context actions. So let's do that, first of all. So we have this text cell, right? So uh, within this element, let's actually format it a little bit better. Let's scroll up a little and then minimize solution explorer. So here uh, within the text, cell we can say text cell dot dot context actions right and then within this context action then we can add menu items and for example uh, we can have a delete which is exactly the functionality we want right we can have multiple ones let's say text maybe let's say instead of using tap uh, to edit or view the contact item we can have the edit button right here for example well I'm just showing there's possibility of having multiple menu items and then if we run our application let's see how it looks like like how the context menu looks like okay you can see our application is running if we want to trigger the context menu what we need to do is long press long press and you can see the context menu is showing up on the top on different devices, it may look different. Um, Windows, uh, the context menu is actually showing right here, just like a regular Windows application, right? Um, Android is showing on the top. For our application, context application, we are going to delete this edit. We're only going to have this uh, delete uh, right here. And you can see immediately the, the added context menu is gone and delete is here. So when I click on it nothing is happening that's because nothing is uh, implemented for delete before i go ahead and implement delete functionality there's one more thing i want to point out uh, which is for the menu items uh, there is a property here and it says is destructive so if we set this to true uh, you can actually see on android nothing is special so delete is delete but on um, other devices like uh, iOS, I believe, uh, the delete menu item will be displayed in red, right? Because it's destructive. Here, nothing is happening in Android. Okay. To react to this delete event, uh, what we can do is we can add a event handler to the click event, right? So clicked event, and then we can just say new event handler. Okay. All right, so then at the back end, you can see a new event is added. But how do we know which, which contact triggered the context menu? So we will need to use a data binding. Uh, as we mentioned before, the data binding in list view is by binding context. So for each item, see here it's item template. So for each item, the binding context is the contact itself. So go back to the back end. Let's review that. We have a list of contact here, right? It's a observation list, but it's still a list, right? So we have a list of contact and each item within that list is a contact object, right? So here, the binding context for this, uh, for the entire item template is the contact object itself. So therefore, what we can do here is to say command parameter, command, sorry, not command, but command parameter. And then we are going to use a binding again, but this time we're gonna use it a little bit differently. We're gonna say dot. What does dot mean? This dot refers 
to the object that is bound to this current item, right? So instead of going like drilling down into which property we're binding to, we're actually just binding to the entire object, which is the contact object, right? And after that, we can go to our backend, go to our backend and go here. Now we can retrieve the contact object directly from here by saying var menu item, right? And sender, so who sent it? It's a menu item, right? We, because we click down the menu item, menu item is the sender. And then we can cast a menu item dot command parameter to contact object. Right, so now we have a contact object. And then we are going to run the delete functionality. So, but we don't have a delete functionality yet. So let's go to our um, models and contact repository. And then let's add our delete functionality in here. Okay. So it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, we are going to say delete contact. And then here, uh, instead of passing the entire contact object, we don't actually need it. We can just pass the contact ID. Of course, in the data binding, we don't have to use uh, binding dot. Uh, we can just say binding contact ID. Right? But I want to show you there's actually uh, this way of binding the current object. Right? So here, we're trying to get the, the contact by ID. And uh, to do that, we can just use lambda expression just like before. We can say contact ID equals contact ID. And if the contact is not now, then we are going to actually remove this. Right, we're going to remove this contact object. Okay, so that's uh, the functionality in here. So we did that. And then let's go back to our code behind. And let's look at this menu item click. So we have this contact. Now we can use our uh, contact repository. And then uh, we can call the delete contact method that we just added. And then we can say contact dot contact ID. And that's good enough, right? That's good enough. But if we run it, guess what's going to happen? Contact will be deleted from the contact list. However, you won't see a change in the list view. Uh, why is that? Because um, because we didn't actually refresh the list view. Remember, the contact list in memory and the contact list in the list view are two different things. And we have to notify the list view that we have a change. That's why we need to do something like, uh, let's go up here in the on appearing. Uh, we have this, uh, these two lines of code here, right? Which will kind of force a refreshing. So we will need to, um, extract this out to in a different method, like in the private helper method. And we're going to call it load contacts. Okay. So here we're just, uh, going to paste these two lines in here and then go up. Go up over here. Uh, we're going to call the contacts, a uh, load contacts. And of course, inside the delete functionality here, uh, we're going to also call the load contacts. Here, I don't like calling it menu item clicked, right? Because it's not actually clear what is actually happening. Let's actually call it uh, delete, delete clicked. Okay, so let's go back and then here, let's change that to delete clicked. Maybe we can just delete the whole thing. And then uh, here we can select delete clicked. Uh, I don't know why it's complaining. Uh, it's saying that delete clicked is not found. That's pretty weird. Right? So we have this delete clicked right here. I think it's just, um, oh, because we are still running the application. Okay. So let's stop it and then that should resolve the problem. Okay. So let's, uh, we completed our recording for delete contact. 
let's run the application again to see whether it works. All right, so let's try to delete, let's say the first one. So long click and then click on delete. And then you can see that it's gone, right? So delete. That's what I want to cover in this video.